What's up everybody, this is Gray Man here. So I want to do a quick uh, video, an unboxing. I got this in the mail, this uh, food dehydrator here. It's, uh, remember that uh, little radio, weather radio that I got by Sun Life? Uh, they sent me this uh, food dehydrator uh, and they wanted me to do a review on it. So before we go into the review, what I want to do uh, is kind of like just do an unboxing, see what's in the box, see what you get, look at the material and all that jazz, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we're going to kind of just dive into it real quick. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a long video. Uh, just want to unbox it. And here, here you want to know the funny thing. I'll be honest with you guys. I unboxed it once already. And uh, yeah, the video was horrible. So I tried putting it all back together. And I'm doing a re-unboxing. It is what it is, man. I'm human and I can only do so much. I give credit to those guys that can just open up the box and just roll with it. But uh, yeah, I wasn't happy with the outcome. So anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this out the box for the second time and uh, just kind of see what's inside the box and kind of go a little bit of, into some of the details. Uh, from my understanding, uh, what is this guy? Um, it says it's a 300, let me see, I'll just look at the camera and pull it up. It's kind of lightweight, you know what I mean? Uh, 350 watt power, uh, efficient, energy efficient power, temperature controlled, perfectly cooks meals every time, temperature ranges 104 degrees to 158 degrees. Uh, the timer function, uh, set and forget uh, cooking for worry-free meals, time range from 0 to 48 hours, uh, digital display, easy to read, and BPA. This product is manufactured without bisphenol A chemicals, making it a safe and healthy choice for you and your family. So, uh, one thing I did notice off-rip um, was uh, down here, it says 350-watt power, or energy-efficient power, but over here it says 360 degrees hot air circulation. So I'm assuming the entire thing circulates the air through there at 350 degrees. Um, or yeah, three, yeah, 350 watts. Sorry, 350 watts of power. The degrees again are 104 degrees to 158 degrees. Uh, you guys with some of the more robust uh, you know, food dehydrators, um, if you can, drop them in the comments and let me know uh, specifically you know, what yours are rated at. You know, there's some some more of the more, uh, I guess, high-end uh, food dehydrators. This one, I think, runs about $75, $76, roughly around somewhere around there. Me, personally, um, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, they sent it to me, uh, so uh, I really didn't pay anything for it, uh, through, and they shipped it through me through Amazon. So I kind of want to just open up the box and dig into it. I guess I should stop rambling, right? All right, we got a little, uh, you know, I guess uh, manual or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, kind of flip through this thing here real quick. Yeah, offering our instructions. Um, it kind of gives you, uh, let me see if I can get this close to the camera here. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea of what apples and bananas, blueberries and all that jazz, vegetables, uh, and then meats. And it kind of gives you the temperature uh, and drying times, preparation, and all that stuff. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. If not, I can always, uh, you know, take a screenshot of it or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so not too, not too complicated. I'm assuming it's, it's not really a complicated uh, thing. Uh, I know I've never dehydrated food before, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that being said, uh, also down in the comments, I want you guys to tell me what, uh, you know, what kind of food sh should I dehydrate? Uh, what do you guys think I should do for, you know, the initial testing and whatnot? of this uh, food dehydrator. Uh, should I start with vegetables and stuff like that? Or should I, you know, do something more complicated like the meats? If, if that's, I, I figure that's going to be more, uh, more labor intensive for the machine. Uh, but let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, get to open up the box, right? All right. I was just trying to figure if I should just tear this thing open or what? I'm just going to throw this on the ground, right down there. Alright, so here we go. This is the front side of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it, it has a digital display up front. Uh, you have your timer, uh, which I guess you can adjust here, your positive and negative down here. 
uh, for how long you want to cook for or dehydrate for, per se. Uh, and then you can set your temp here. I guess if you cook, push here, it's probably going to give you up and down for the uh, the time. And then if you push over here, it's probably going to give you the temp that you want to set it at. So these, uh, these are the trays here, the five trays. Got yourself a lid. Uh, then you got these trays here and whatnot. That's kind of what the trays look like. Hey, I can see you guys. Um, it looks roughly about, I don't know, let's say about a half inch in height there. I don't have a tape measure on me, so I can't really tell. Um, it has like a little lip on the inside here. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing attention to the lip is because if you were to put some sort of sheet of paper in here, and I don't mean just general paper, I mean cooking paper. I think it's like parchment or something like that. You guys can probably correct me in the comments uh, what kind of stuff they put in here. Or maybe they can put like a silicone uh, base thing in here. If you were going to, let's say, you know, pour eggs and dehydrate eggs or something like that in this uh, little thing here. If that works, because I don't know, because then I'm assuming that you prevent the air from circulating. Uh, that's why it's kind of like this way. But like I said, I've never owned one of these before, so you guys should probably end up correcting me on that. But uh, anyways, so there are five trays. They're plastic. And they come apart pretty easy and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of tossing it there for now. Um, they do lock into place, let's say. Lock into place. They don't lock into place, but you kind of get what I'm saying. And let's put those all back together. I just want to see if, uh, once you put them in there, if it's... There we go. And those are the five trays. I don't know if you can see the width on there or whatnot in the camera. And of course we have the lid. I'm assuming this part here is where the hot air comes through and permeates through the entire device. Um, I could try to plug it in and see how it looks. One thing I can recommend to Sun Life, if you're watching this video as I'm doing this unboxing and down the road with the uh, full review on this thing, is a longer cord. Uh, I know some people might have it set in a certain way, but maybe if I want to move it around a little bit, I'm kind of uh, you know restricted by this cord. It's probably only maybe maybe 24 inches long, so if you could you know make a little bit longer cord, that'd be awesome. Maybe four foot. Just saying. Let's put this back on here like that. the lid on and at the top of this lid I just noticed it does have a little like uh, you know for it uh, for the air to come out and whatnot and I guess I'll uh, turn it on right so it's right now it's currently set at 158 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and the time is set for 12 minutes. I guess that's the defaults to. Uh, this is just me plugging it in and letting it run. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That must be the fan that's spinning. Uh, are some dehydrators, are they loud? Are they not loud? Uh, do they differ in, uh, you know, from manufacturer to manufacturer and whatnot? So, but that's about it. I can't think of anything else really to go over. I mean, it has like a stainless steel finish. Uh, this I know this top part is plastic for sure. Um, I don't know if this is in you know, it. Feels steel. It's probably more. I don't know. It might be a thin form of stainless steel. But I think that's about it. So again, so down in the comments, if you can do me a favor, like I said, I'm I'm not sure where to start. As in, what should I dehydrate first? Like I said, um, and to kind of put this thing through the test. Uh, I know it's going to be a long process, so it'll be like a, you know, like some people said it could take up to eight hours to do certain uh, things to dehydrate certain things, but I guess we'll find out. So let me know what you think down in the comments, um, how this is going to work out, I guess. Uh, I'm not much of uh, a chef, so maybe I'll get Lady Gray involved and help me out a little bit as well, plus some of you uh, co other content creators out there, like Mark said, uh, that he'll help me, uh, we'll kind of put this against uh, his uh, 
His food dehydrator, uh, what is the name of that one? But anyways, he has a really nice food dehydrator. I think it's all metal and whatnot. And you can buy more trays. Now, this is limited. You can't add, I don't think you can add other trays to this. Uh, maybe it might be restricted by the amount of time and the temp that you can run through it. I don't know. I'm kind of digging in this. It's my first time dealing with a food dehydrator. So I guess when we do the review, we'll see how it turns out. Other than that, this is Gray Man. Uh, that pretty much wraps up this video. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Um, I do have a lot of things coming up, some pretty cool things coming up. Uh, been on the phone all day with some uh, interesting uh, things, uh, things that are transpiring on the channel, so that's kind of cool. But if you can, please give this video a thumbs up. I truly appreciate that. Look forward to see you guys on the next vid. Uh, and uh, that about wraps it up. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the rebound. God bless.